It is, in fact, after a long time of not being Skyrim time, it is now Skyrim time. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Dogma, thank you again for the resub for I have to scroll up for four months. Thank you, gamer. I really appreciate it. I had to fix my alerts because for the recital last night, I had my alerts fucked up because uh, we had our studio... Uh, recital last night. For those of you who don't know, you probably know at this point. But um, for my music teacher job, uh, where I teach VTubers, um, we had our studio recital last night on Twitch. And thank you to everyone who came out to the recital. I know it's like a little different, but I saw uh, quite a few gamers in chat, and it really meant a lot to me. Um, to see you guys there it made me really happy. Um, but because of that, since people were like performing and shit, <laughs> the last thing I wanted was for someone to like have like a fucking like yandere dev or like the playstation 2 sound play while they're performing i would have cried i would have felt fucking awful so i had all my alerts disabled but i think they're i think they're working now but yes yeah, since it is now september i have decided it is halloween so we get halloween eb because i say so <laughs> all right so we're gonna get right back into it. We didn't have Skyrim Sunday last week, actually, just because I was so fucking busy, bro. I was so busy with work, with the recital, with, like, everything. Dude, I was just overwhelmed. <laughs> I was overwhelmed as fuck. But recital is over, so that means I get to be a gamer again, and I get to flee my responsibilities once more. I have less responsibilities now, which is nice, but welcome in, everybody. So we're gonna get right started. Let me go game. And then let me make myself little. There we go. That should be that should be good enough. And let me move OBS over here. But when last time uh, we were playing Skyrim, oh, Iron, thank you so much for the returning for, for continuing your gift sub. I appreciate that. Wait, it didn't give you it didn't give you a PlayStation sound. Wait, no, no. Everyone, if you sub, you get a PlayStation sound. I don't, well, I don't know why it doesn't do that because it does appear differently on my end too, which is weird. So I will give you. I will give you, here you go, here you go, bud. Everyone gets a PlayStation sound. I'm not gonna skimp anybody of their PlayStation noise. <laughs> no more glasses. Oh wait, that's my hat. There we go. But I did have to take a break from lusting after a vampire to lust after an orc mommy. That's the big thing, theme here. And regardless of what I play, I'm lusting after after somebody. I had a weird dream. I was at an old mall with my brother and we killed spiders, but there was one really big spider. There was a combination of a spider and I think that's a monkey. Damn, that's crazy. I love, like, old malls and shit like that. Like, um, like, liminal spaces, as I think is what they're called. Like, old shopping malls or, like, 7-Elevens at, like, 4 in the morning. I love shit like that. I think it's crazy. But last we left off, we are actually doing the main quest. We were gonna do the main quest with Rasha, who is our first ever Skyrim Sunday character. Her save got corrupted. We played 300 different characters. And in none of those three playthroughs did we ever do the main quest. So, you know what? We're... Going back to our roots, and we're doing the main quest. So let's go talk to Delphine and see what she has in store for us. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Oh, yeah? Uh, you're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. Okay, let me turn the game volume up just a wee bit. Uh, Boing. Okay, let me know if it's too loud or anything. Uh, so what's your plan? How am I getting in? The Thalmor ambassador, Ellen Wendt, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. Hi, JK! I, I have my house soundproofed in order to watch your stream. Embassy, that, you as it should be. Smart Ellen choice. Wendt. Smart choice. <laughs> I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. Okay. His name is Malborn. Malborn. Odo. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. Okay. You can trust him. Okay. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? Damn right I know that, it. I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Ooh, I want to go to the party. The I want to be the prettiest girl at the party. Board. Any questions? Uh, no, I don't think so. How can I trust your pal, though? Like, you can trust him, but, like, what about me? How can I trust him? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character. Hi, gamers. Welcome in, everybody that's coming in, by the way. as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges this that we never hear him. about. That's fucked up! Luckily they don't know who he really is, Ragnar or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's oh, party. Ooh, okay. How am I getting in? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. 
As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past What the fuck is a toady? I'm sure that's like a word for like rich people or whatever, but like she makes it sound like I'm gonna be a frog. What do I do when I get in there? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Okay. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay. Well, I'll see you in solitude then. Sounds good. Be careful. Buggy. So, what other quests do we have? Because I honestly don't remember. I don't think we're doing any other big quest lines. But I do know that we're a werewolf now. And the thing is, is we became a werewolf, but we're not... We're not basically in the companions yet, you know? We're not basically in the companions. So I don't know what's going to happen um, with that. So, because that's the thing is I've done companions before, but I've never really done it in a way where, like, I've already been a werewolf. <laughs> so I'm not sure that's going to complicate things. But, I mean, you know what? Let's Let's give it a shot. So what quest do we have? Currently, because I don't even know what we have. We have the main quest, obviously. Um, an ancient gate. Uh, Jalamar, an old man in Riften, told me about a group of men who entered the mysterious Echo Deep Mine, just outside of the town to the northeast. He thinks they're up to no good and has asked me to look into it, okay? We have the mountain. Um, oh, that's right, the landslide. I remember we did this in a playthrough a while back. I don't remember it entirely. I know I don't want to do Forgotten City. We do have Dragonborn to do. Um, find the, and then we have another person impersonating us. That's right. Last time we played Skyrim, um, I got fucked by two different groups of assassins out for me. Um, and then we have to keep killing bad guys. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Didn't we kill, didn't we let Lydia die? Isn't, isn't Lydia dead? D didn't, I thought I killed her. No, I think I just dismissed her. I don't, I don't want to fucking... I don't want to, I don't know if I want to romance Lydia. We got pretty far with some of the Skyrim romances last time we did them, but I don't know if I want Lydia to be the one, you know? Um, I'm in the same spot right now, but I can get videos just to see what happens. Hell yeah, gamer. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know who I want to smash if I'm going to smash it all. We haven't found a good companion for Rasha quite yet. I feel like we should do College of Winterhold because she is a more magic-oriented character, but, like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. So there's a few things going on over here um i must offer a beggar alms at the windhelm docks hmm, that could be interesting but the downside is i have to go to windhelm and i don't want to do that um and i don't want to do helgen reborn either so i think we'll do i think we've got a good list of things set up let's you know what maybe we need to just give her a chance okay maybe Maybe she's just, like, misunderstood, you know? Maybe she, like, kicks puppies because she has trauma or some shit. I don't know. We'll, we'll talk to Lydia. We'll, we'll, give her, we'll give her the good college try, okay? We'll give it a shot, and we'll see what happens, okay? Will anything good happen? Probably not, but you know what? I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Okay. Uh, we're at the farm east of Rorikstead. I don't think so. I don't think we... We might have passed through Rorikstead this playthrough, but I don't remember. So let's head inside and see... What she has to say. Let's see. All right. Let's go. Is that just rain sounds? I. <laughs> it took me a minute. I was like, what the fuck is that? But it's just the rain sounds. But the rain sounds like it's like. Do, 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 do. Like it's like someone's like shooting the roof or some shit. I guess that's just how wooden roofs are. All right. I'll take a, take a seat next to her. Let me make sure I look good for her. All right. Even though I don't like her, I want to make sure my Riz is at the maximum it could be. All right. Hi, Lydia. What's up? Honored to see you again, my fame. Uh, and also with you. Um, all right, let's try this again. Remember, she's not homophobic. She's just religious. I think that was it was. I wonder who uses spells in this group. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I, Shadow Wizard Money Gang for life. <laughs> all right. How's Carl? I guess we should get to know each other. Yes, my thing. Are you dragonborn? Um, yeah. I it seems like it. I'm not gonna make a these nuts these joke this time. Okay, I'm gonna be polite. I'm gonna be a gentleman, a gentlewoman, a gentle eb, if you will. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be rude. I'm not gonna be rude, lewd, or crude. Okay, I'm gonna be a good noodle. Mara's mercy. 
Dragonborn. Yeah! She kind of looks really good in this light. Hold on, can we... Is it, like, an inappropriate time to, like, take a screenshot of her? Wait, hold up. Because this, like, looks really good. Hold up. Look at that! She, she kind of, like... Ah! Uh, ah, uh, she kind of looks good! She kind of looks good. Oh, and then there's that one bitch, I guess. Okay, turn that off. Uh, I guess that means we have to fight dragon... <laughs> Could I not have any better response? Like, literally, my character must be like, Wow, you're Dragonborn? That's crazy. Yep, that means I fight dragons. Like, that's that's all we got. That's all we... Okay, that's fine. Guess that means we have to fight dragons. <laughs> As you will, my Thane. You're helping the good folk of Whiterun. How could I say no to that? Mm. I will protect you with my life. Thanks. Um, so... <laughs> you're okay with that? Could be, uh... Could be dangerous. Of course, ma'am. It's an honor to serve. Well, she you. called me ma'am. Okay. Um. <laughs> what are the options? Just good. Let's go. And that ends the relationship. <laughs> Just down to business. Okay. You know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. Okay. We're gonna fuck around and find out. So, uh, house girl, I'm uh I'm new to this. How does our relationship work exactly? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Okay. Uh, yeah. About that. Uh, I'm having some concerns. Oh? Um, well, you're... Oh, Jesus. I hate this line. I hate... We had this before. I fucking hate this line. Like, literally, I can't read this line without feeling like a super fucking dweeb. <laughs> well, uh, you're a young and beautiful woman. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> so you're concerned about my beauty? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Dragons on the loose and... A <laughs> she really and looked at me and was like, really? I, <laughs> I didn't say that. Good. Where else would I want to be but here, my Thane? Fighting at your side. I don't know. Uh, JC Penny. Okay. Uh, well, since you feel that way, I guess we should uh, talk about the other thing then. I, I don't know what the other thing is. Yes? How can I serve you, my Thane? Uh, oh, oh, okay. We're just going in for the kill. Going in for the kill. Do we uh, sleep together or something? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Sleep together? I hardly think so. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. I can see you're propositioning me. Gaslight Geek, um, Oh, so no, thank you so much for the follow. You're not Gaslight Geek, keep girl boss. Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to riz a woman, and it's not going well. <laughs> Look, house girl. I'm just trying to figure this out. This is unforeseen territory for me. This is my first time talking to a girl in real life. I beg your pardon, ma'am. I'm the simple and traditional woman. Okay. I find the concept of sleeping with you morally unsettling. Okay. I see. It's fine. I'm devoted to Everything's the fine. Mara. Her benevolence saved me from sin and wickedness. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't read this line without me. <laughs> It just feels homophobic. Like, I know it's not, but it really does feel like she's telling me, like, I need to go to church or some shit and, like, think about my actions. Uh, sin and wickedness? <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, no. She is the bearer of love and the patron of marriage. Hey, hey. Thank you for hijack me. Your trials as well. Mm. My trial is that it's cold outside and your body will be warm. My thing. You don't need my body. You don't know me. The warmth of Mara can see me through. Uh, I, I can't grab Mara's titty now, can I? You're right there. She's a, isn't she a love goddess? I'm sure she's okay with us uh, bouncing butts, okay? It says sharing some furs, but that's stupid. I'm sure she's okay with us bouncing butts. I respectfully disagree. She said I respectfully. <laughs> I'm afraid I have nothing else to offer you. Um, now, why not? And we never had this discussion. Mm. All right. Good. Oh, you poor thing. You must be starving. Yes. I'm thinking of making some apple Social interactions stew. starve me. Apple cabbage stew? Is that, like, is that good? I will keep you fed, my Thane. Hmm. Maybe I'll do turnips next. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> to, like, to, like, move my head so you can see this fucking line. Where is, look, there's more to life than turnips and Mara. Apple cabbage stew, the boots with the fur. Oh fuck yeah, okay. Uh of course. 
Come on, how or come, House Carl. Dragons are dangerous creatures. We should get you some gear, because this is not gonna cut it for some fucking reason. As you wish, my fame. All right. Um, I guess we have to take her to Adrian. Mm -hmm. Is Adrian gonna tell me about her husband's erectile dysfunction again? Because that was weird. Like, I don't mind having that conversation again if I have to, but it was, in fact, kind of odd, honestly. I don't, like, I'm not gonna tell you what happened last time if you weren't there, but if you were there, a a Adrian, with this much, she likes to overshare, okay? She wants everyone to know her business, okay? Yeah, I'm just your house, Carl, as she feeds me dinner. Like, listen, I'm, maybe I'm just like a bitch, but like, if you feed me, if you make me food and are nice to me, there's a non-zero percent chance I'm just gonna fall in love with you on the spot. I'm gonna be honest, okay? It's, it's very easy to gain my affections. <laughs> gonna be real. All right, let's see what Adrian has to say. It's a very beautiful day outside, by the way. Very, very pretty. Oh, yep, mm -hmm, that's there, yep. Forgot about that one. But let's, yeah, you having a good time? God, this, the implications of Heimsker with, <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared doing what he's doing with this going on in the background. It's just, it makes it so much funnier. I'm sorry. It's so goddamn funny. Okay. Let's go over to Adrian and see what she has to say. <laughs> All right. We're going to run. Uh, who are you? Oh, okay. Um, sorry. She kind of had a nice ass. So I wanted, oh, right. There's still dead people there. What are you guys doing? What, what are you guys doing to that dead body? What was it? What's going on here? Yes. Why are you doing to that dead bot? Oh, wow. Wait. Until next time. That's a hooker. What's the hooker doing with the? What are you? Are you? Hook mercenary work. It might suit you. Why is a hooker and a mercenary fucking rubbing this dead guy's nipples? Did you see that? They were rubbing his nipples. What's up with that? Also, this is also very, very good screenshot moment. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, I know there's a dead, here, listen, listen. We're doing it for the gram. Ignore the dead guy in the background. It's for the gram. There we go, thank you. Yeah, why were they just rubbing his nipples like that? Like, you saw that too, right? I'm not, oh shit, I didn't have TFC. <laughs> there we go. Like, why was he, what? You saw that, right? You saw that. Have you traveled to Solstheim already? I don't know if we're gonna go to Solstheim quite yet, because we're still pretty, <sighs> We're still pretty early in this playthrough. I feel like level nine might be a little bit too early, honestly. But we are definitely gonna do it. Yeah, it's spice. <laughs> yeah, this ain't about him. This ain't about him. Okay. Hi. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Oh More wait, I forgot to grab Lydia. Oh shit. Don't Lydia. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, I need my woman, my wench. She doesn't let me call her that yet. Okay, we'll get there though. We'll get there. Okay, come here. Come here. Go inside. Lydia, we need to get you a new fit. We need to get you the apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. What part of that do you not understand? Where is she? There, you are just sitting. Okay, come here. Honored to see you again. All right, follow me. Lead the way. Perfect. Okay, come here. Come here. We're gonna go get you some hot new clothes. Okay, you're gonna be the baddest bitch in all of White Run. Okay. Well, the second baddest, because the first one's reserved to me. Okay. If you go to Solstheim, there's a fork in the barrel mission. Oh, I don't, I think I've done Solstheim like, I honestly don't think I've ever done Solstheim on stream, but I have done it before, but it was like years ago. Like I may as well be replay, what? Oh, oh, okay. Um. Oh, it's just a young frost dragon, guys. We don't need to freak out. It's just a baby. It's just a baby. It's nothing serious. It's just a baby. It's, it's chill. It's fine. Nothing to, nothing, nothing to shiver our timbers over. It's, yeah. See, business as usual. Everything's fine. Nothing is wrong. Noth nothing is wrong. Everything's fine. Just not. Nothing is wrong. Oh god damn it! I just wanted an old woman to overshare her sex life to me. I didn't want to fight a dragon. God damn it! Uh, does the mod use a voice actor for the additional romance dialogue? No. The way the mod works, um. Literally is oh shit. <laughs> it's all of the regular dialogue, but essentially they just kind of cut and paste it together Essentially, so there's no there's they're using the original Lydia voice actor lines But they're chopping and splicing it. Oh boy howdy. They're chopping and splicing it all together 
Am I gonna be able to... Here, I need him to land. Sit down! Sit down! No, not like that! Can I force him? Do I have the shout yet that forces him? No. Okay. Okay, well, that kind of, he, he did a little hustle. Okay, do we have a bow and arrow? Do we have anything ranged? We have a crossbow. That's right, we're a crossbow cunt this playthrough. I forgot about that. I genuinely forgot crossbows were an option in this game. Okay, let me, oh shit. Okay, I'm just taking damage for fun, for the hell of it now. Okay, where is he at? Right, that's not, I, for some reason I always thought I was an aim down. I think I just, okay, here, I need you to, okay, there we go. That missed. That's okay. That missed. God damn it. Okay, no more crossbow. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just um sit here with my dick out until he decides to land. Um, yeah, he's just gonna. You know what? You guys. I think you guys have this under control. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get my house Carl outfit. Oh yeah, where'd she go? Wait, Lydia. Oh fuck, Lydia. Oh, where'd the fuck Lydia go? God damn it, I lost her again! Lydia? Oh, shit. Lydia? I wish to be that unbothered. She is just sitting. Did I, I had Lydia, right? Oh, great. Yeah, just tickle my balls, that's fine. That's fine. If you leave the city, you should find a landing spot. Yeah, I know they can land in the city. I've had it land in the city before, but I'm also kind of, my number one concern right now is like, where the fuck did Lydia go? I think I have the thing to call her over with, um, oh, and now we're fawning over the dead guy too? Okay, well, Lydia's not here, but it seems I can still talk to her. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. Oh! Okay, Yazolda, um, yo, did y'all hear her say that? I was like, damn, okay. Um, I guess the dragon can't land because we're okay. There it goes. There it goes. Now we're cooking. The dragon couldn't land because they were fawning over that dead body, which is like good for good for you, I guess. There we go. All right, it's dead. Now it's dead. Okay, Malakath like that. Oh, we haven't blessed up yet. We haven't blessed up. Okay, fuck. I need to pray. I need to bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Oh, I can't pray. Okay, hold up. Put that shit away. Bless up. Yeah. Dead now. But where did it come from? I don't know. Fuck if I know. Look at her little blow or blow. Look at her little bow as she's praying. She's so cute. I don't know why one of her eyes is closed and why it is it. Uh, okay, Rasha. You, whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy. Hey, Zigzag, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone who's just joining. We're about to get... We're gonna try to romance Lydia this time. Just because we haven't done it. Okay, not because I like Lydia or anything, but... We haven't done it yet, and I want to see what happens. Okay, I want to see... Does she... Yeah, why does she only have one eye? Is she blinded? Blinded by the light. Yeah, where the fuck did Lydia go? The dragon attack happened, and I don't know where the hell she is now. Can we, like, call her over with a uh, NMM? Or NF, whatever the fuck. The, the, you know the one. You know the one. Follower framework. There we go. NFF. Where am I? Where's my bitch? Lydia. Lydia. Okay, can I, can I call her over? Isn't there a thing I can do with that? Uh, gameplay. Slots. Here we go. Lydia. No, I don't want to remove her. Um, let me see. Where's the summon thing? Calling on exit. Come here! She's- Oh, shit. Okay, hi. Okay, are you still- Let me know if you have anything- I, I need you to come with. Hi, hey, Unicorn! She's not one I had orc character- Yeah, I guess she was blinded by the dragon. I need to look at my powers or some shit, because there might be a reason for that. Um, yeah, it says she's following me. Okay. Um, protect you with my life. That's very serious. So you want to have sex with me, but you'll protect me with all your life? Hmm, suspicious. Let me see if there's like something in there that's giving me that. Weakness to fire. Oh, it's my beast blood. But that's not giving me blindness or anything like that. All right, Adrian. Hi. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, I wouldn't have seen it either. All right, Adrian. I need to get my new house Carl outfitted. Can you help me? This must be her, then. Such a You've done well, Dame. She has such beauty. Thank you. Uh, speaking of a real beauty, here's the Riz. Here's, it's Riz time. It's Riz time. 
How are you today, Adrian? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Things could be better. Oh, uh, I was wrong. I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is private affairs. I mean, there's a dead guy in the middle of the road, so it can't be that serious. Uh, you can talk to me. Maybe, maybe I can help. I'm hesitant to share it, but my husband has a problem. He has special difficulties making love. I told you! I told you! You talk to her! You ask her for a basic task! It's like, hey, hi, how are you? My man's dick don't work. Like, what, what happened to hello? What happened to how are you? <laughs> well, no, actually, she did say, I did say how are you, and that was, why can't you just say, like, I, I could be better. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, why not just say I'm fine? Right? Why not? Why is it gotta be like, hmm? Yeah, like, can you imagine having this interaction in, like, the middle of the fucking grocery store? You're sitting there, the checkout lady's, like, scanning your butter and your fucking, like, head of lettuce or some shit, and you see an old friend from high school, it's like, oh my god, hey, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, um, my, my husband has erectile dysfunction. Well, what do you say to that? What do you want me to do? Like, hello? I called Smith, welcome. Difficulties making love. I'm very sorry to hear that. Like, what, what else am I supposed to say? Like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> like, what? And if you want to keep having ears, you'll pretend you didn't. Then why'd you tell me? Problems with getting married. But that's the kind of talk an old <coughs> war horse Fuck. shouldn't be making. That, <laughs> that rant, like, killed me. Um, old war horse, where I'm from, they call them MILFs. Hi, Rainbow. Uh, you're Adrian. You're so cute and fun and sexy. Have sex with me. Don't talk such rot. <laughs> Damn. Yes, Take a like compliment, the, girly. The girl boss. Uh, Glenn, thank you so much for the follow. I apologize if I butchered your name, but welcome to the stream. You're not gash like KQ. Girl boss. Um, well, can something be done? Many men have problems in bed, you know. Have you heard of this fantastic spell called Viagra? <laughs> Between you and I, I think his motivations are a bit more self serving. Oh. He wants a man of action, not a woman. Oh, well, you know. Um,. It's 2023. Gay is in. Like, you know, that's that's fine. Um, yes, your husband, like, keep, um, keep Paradox, thank boss. you so much for the follow. You're not guess I can keep go boss. Welcome to the stream. Uh, your husband, Ulfrith, prefers men? Good for him. Good for him. It's true. Yeah, every, there's so people. That. There's a hooker right he there. Nazim up. is fondling but that I dead. Yeah, fuck, let me take my hat off. Nazim is fondling that dead man. body right there. And she's, dead. <laughs> she's just saying this for every Tom, Dick, and Harry to hear. Wait, he understands what? Yeah, I <laughs> fucking hair flip in the background. I love Ulfirth, and I respect him. But my passions have their needs. You know what? She really said, like, hey, it's fine if that you're gay. It's fine that you that you like men. I respect that. Which, like, W. But she's also just like, listen, I need to get railed. Which, like, I, you know, she's open about her needs. I can, so, your husband will allow you to get fucked? It's not exactly forbidden, but even so, it needs to be discreet. I mean, I guess so. We don't have Ashley I Madison know. in Skyrim. Uh, wait, who? I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out. What, what does this have to do with me? Um, is it me? <laughs> I know, it's a bit strange. Wait, for real? We shouldn't be talking about this anyway. Wait, for real? Me? <laughs> um, I would enjoy giving you the attention uh, you and your massive fucking knockers deserve. But why? Your house, Carl, is lovely. She's homophobic. Um, yeah, she is, <laughs> she is not interested in me, girlfriend. What? Right? That's what I said. What? Something about Sin and Mara and some other cringe shit. Why do you ask? I'm just surprised. You are dragonborn and her thane. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have expected it. Mm -hmm. um, you think, uh, wait, 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 you think my house Carl and I should be together, huh? Aye, that I do. Well, I did talk to her about it. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't go a that hero. far. <laughs> it's not your place to gain a measure of her cooperation. She's sworn wait, to what? carry your burdens. She's a gift for your service. It's her honor to serve you. Um, She's supposed to give you what you need. I mean, I'm a whore, but that seems a little much. <laughs> like, listen, like, I want her to have sex with me, but, like, listen, listen, that's... Why are we still... Why are we still fucked up over this dead body, by the way? Do you guys see this happening in the background? 
Is that a child? Wait, why are they? Do you see them? They're like Fortnite dancing. Do you see the little shimmy? <laughs> Do you see that? Look at my look, dude. Look at my mouse. Look at my mouse. Anyway, yeah, this seems very, uh, very rapey. I don't like it. Uh, how do you know all that? <laughs> the know he's whittly gwitting. He's the Jarl Stewart. Look at my eyes. Um, I'm not gonna press the point with her. If she, listen, like, that, mm, mm, that's a little weird. Adrian, you're a little weird. I'm sorry. I see. Why, why is the guard bad, okay with no. that, the fondling that dead body? Um, you're the beauty, Adrian. I'll I'll be happy to sh sh fuck around with you. You've proven your worth. I'm willing to try, but I have another request. Uh -huh. I need the right raw materials to make steel. <laughs> There's a mine. <laughs> Can you Mark imagine Oak. asking a we girl out and here. she's like, "Now before we uh hang out, I need the right materials to make steel." <laughs> like, honestly, I do it. Like. I, I do it. Uh, with these materials, you'll ho outfit my house, Carl? Do this task for me, and I'd be delighted to give her my finest weapons and armor. Okay. It's all in this note. Okay. Uh, I'll return soon. I'll be here, my dear. Okay. Um, we'll Stay read sure. that in a second, but um, what's going on over here? Um, yeah, even, look, did you see that guy? He, he like, gave the side eye. What the fuck? <laughs> Everything about what's happening here is pure insanity. You just summed up my stream perfectly, Silver. <laughs> also, welcome if I didn't say so. Yeah, what? Do you get to the cloud? <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. What did I think he was gonna fucking say? I work with my mother to sell fruits and Jesus vegetables. Christ. Fun, the hooker's on lookout for the child looting the corpse. I. Everyone here's weird. Everyone here's a fucking weirdo. I work like. For Bellathor at the general goods store. Yeah, sure you do, bud. Um, let's read her note. <laughs> I've had so many people say they're like, "Are you gonna try Starfield? Why don't you play Starfield instead of Skyrim?" Oh, play Starfield. Don't play Skyrim. This is why I play Skyrim. This, this right here. This is why I play Skyrim. <laughs> I'm not looking for a good game. I'm looking for a silly game, okay? I'm here to be... Me and my 700 mods are here to be silly. Welcome in, Stevie. Um, Why there's corpses in the street? I don't know, but there was a hooker fondling their nipples earlier, and a lady just told us her husband has erectile dysfunction. So lots of things are happening right now. Uh, I bumble. <sighs> okay, let's... um. Let's read her note. Where where is this? Thank you for the hydrate, Rainbow. God damn it. Is it David? I mean, David's not fumbling or David's not fondling any nipples to my knowledge. I mean, hey David. What? Are you fondling any nipples? Nothing I would tell you about. Oh shit, okay. Um, I don't have a new outfit. This is just um let me show you. Let me put my hat back on. This is just a recolor of my regular outfit because it's September 3rd, so that means it's Halloween, because I said so. <laughs> so it's just a regular outfit for, for Halloween. So let's see. Um, that's right. I wanted to do more of a conjuration thing anyway. So we are doing some magic, but the stream is convincing me to go touch grass. I, I can't really argue with that. Like, that's the thing. like, there's part of me that's like, no, don't go, don't go touch grass. Just watch VTubers all day. But there's also, like, the real person part of me that's like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> you know? Okay, where's her fucking note? It was Adrian's note, right? Isn't it? Yeah, Adrian's request for ore. Okay, let's read this out. I hope, uh, wait, dear, uh, what was it? Anarchy? Anakin Skywalker. I'm just gonna say Anakin Skywalker. Dear Anakin, I hope you and Werner are getting along better these days. For my part, I think you are right. I need a lover, and I pray to Debella for one. Oh my god. I just threw up in my mouth. I'm sorry. I didn't need to share that with you, but you needed to know. Um, 
I have prayed to develop for one as you suggested. I have my eye on someone very special. Ah, yes. <laughs> someone very special. <laughs> um, anyway, I need more corundum to make steel for a big order. Can you help me? I will send back finished tools and weapons at Darkwater Crossing, as always. Oh, shit. I changed my fucking outfit. There we go. Uh, Adrian. Okay. Um, so I guess we gotta go to Darkwater Crossing. Um, do you get to the Cloud District very often? No, I can hardly pay my taxes. I'm not going to the fucking Cloud District. <laughs> We don't got Cloud District money. <laughs> Evie reads a letter about bitches, throws up. L listen, I could never. I, listen, listen. I'm not good around women. I panic and I throw up whenever one talks to me. <laughs> so I guess we're going to go. Have we been to Dark Water Crossing yet? Because apparently that's where the ore is. And if she needs ore, then like that's where I'm going. Okay, I want to send Nazim to the Cloud District by making him fight the giants, as he should. Um, our Nazim in our game was fondling a corpse, so that that happened. Where the fuck is Darkwater Crossing? Like, it should be marked on my map, ain't it? Yeah, Solstheim, Snowdrift Island, Solitude Lighthouse. Oh, I don't think I have a quest mark. That's probably why. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I have to talk to Lydia first? Hey. I've got your back. Did you hear about how Adrian's wife's dick or Adrian's husband's dick don't work? That was crazy. Ah, the mine at Darkwater Crossing. It's not far. Yeah. Wait. wait. I heard what you were talking about. Yeah, his dick don't work. M mammoth ears. Okay. Why you're leading the blacksmith on? I'll never. Do you get to the cloud district very often? No, I'm a VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not leading her on, okay? She's a grown woman with needs. And if her those needs are my dick inside of her, then who am I to say no? But she's married. Ain't ladylike. Well, the blacksmith's affairs are not your concern, house Carl. Yeah, but she's right. About what? Oh, wow, I predicted that. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Oh, you say that with such enthusiasm, Lydia. House Carl, I'm not... Okay, House Carl, I'm not asking you to do anything that you don't want to do, okay? I respect you, I, res I and I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to do. I know, but I must take care of you. Yeah, but Adrian's giving me free puss down the street, so, like, it's cool, okay? Um, you're just confused, dear. You should think more about what you... <gasps> this line is so... This is so incel. Hold on. Let me... Let me... I'll even, like, put my glasses back on for this one, bro. You're just confused, dear. You should think about what you want more. Oh, God. I hate that. I hate... I fucking hate that. As you wish. Oh, she I has something command. for me. Honor to you, my fane. I command you to have some self-respect. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Oh, uh, <laughs> I am going to fuck Nazim's dad. What's I'm he gonna do here. about it? Cry? Probably. Uh, Alright, where the fuck is Darkwater Crossing? Do we know where Darkwater Crossing is? Yeah, guard me with your life. All that cool shit. Where the fuck is Darkwater Crossing? There. What? what, what why is Darkwater Crossing all the way... That's so far. Okay, well... Is there anything we need to do that's on the way? Uh, it looks like everything else we have to do... Yeah, I don't want to travel to Solstheim quite yet, because I don't think we have the beef for Solstheim. Um, but we'll go, we'll go be a slut, I guess. And again, Rasha's a very, Rasha is a character, because as many of you know, most of the characters I play in Skyrim are some of my own OCs from like D&D or Pathfinder or other short stories I've written. Rasha as a character would not do this. Rasha is a sweet, innocent cinnamon roll. Look at her. She's so cute, okay? She's a Barbie girl in a bar. Look at her little her little bow, okay? She's an innocent cinnamon roll who can do no wrong. I, however, am a massive bitch. So, <laughs> this is this, this is for me, okay? This is for me. Yeah, so, if the consent is not enthusiastic, it does not count, okay? Lydia, is it was okay to say no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... Yeah, the way the way she the way she says I'm sworn to carry your burdens changes like every time and it's fucking hilarious. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys something though. So like I feel like I've talked about this before. Um, but I used to be really into writing, right? Which like kind of like makes sense if you think about the types of games that I play and how I like making original characters and stuff like that. And when I was in high school, I was writing this really long, like, fantasy novel. Like, that was my thing, is I wanted to be, for the longest time, I wanted to be a, um, a fantasy novel writer. And, um, this was actually before I, um, before I started dating Dave. Um, 
And I remember there was this guy I was talking to at the time. And he was one of those guys who was like, he always had to be smarter than me, you know? And believe it or not, because <laughs> this might be hard to believe, but when I was in high school, I was like super intellectual. Like I was on the debate team. I was on all these different like academic, like, um, what's the word for it? Like these academic accomplishment, like things. I was on the honor roll. I was on like the presence list, whatever. I was on like all kinds of shit, okay? Um, how do you set your digital location to Skyrim? Uh, pff, great fucking question. I have no idea. Um, but I remember that, um, yeah, I was on debate team. You used NordVPN. <laughs> okay, that one's good. Welcome to the stream. That, that was good. I'll give you that one. But yeah, I was on, um, the debate team. I was on, um, what was I on? I was on, like, SGA for a while. Um, I used to be in GSA, which is, like, Gay Straight Alliance, and then they told me I wasn't gay enough, and I got kicked out, <laughs> which was a very weird experience to go through, not gonna lie. But anyway, point is, um, at the time, I was writing this long-ass fantasy novel. It wasn't super long, but for, like, a 14-year-old, it was pretty long. Oh, shit. Okay, that works, too, I guess. Um, I didn't mean to combat roll into him, but that works, I guess. Um, but... What happened is um, I showed this novel that I wrote to this guy I was talking to. Um, and he always, like, had to have, like, the one up on me, right? Like, I was never, <laughs> I was never able to be um, correct, I guess, right? Um, I never finished it, but I think where I was when I eventually, like, dropped it, I was around, like, 300 to 400 pages. Um, before my ADHD got really bad, I used to, like, yeah, how did it all cut down? <laughs> but, um... As I got older, like for me, my ADHD was like there when I was a kid, but it got like worse as I got older. Like now, like I hadn't been writing for years. And the reason I hadn't been writing, um, because I've always loved storytelling. Like literally half the reason I wanted to become a VTuber is because I love the idea of being able to stream as like a character from a story that I had written, right? And I love coming up with like lore for my character and stuff like that. Like there is lore for EB, you know, she's not like, yeah, she is just me. Yeah, she's kind of just like myself in a funky hat. I've had a lot of people whenever I do IRL stuff say that I look like my avatar, um, which is something I like, you know? Um, and I want to do like a lore video at some point. I just don't got lore video money. Those VTuber lore videos you see, a lot of those VTuber lore videos are like, sometimes like 500 to a thousand or more dollars to produce and write and get all the art for and potentially animation. And I just don't have that kind of money, <laughs> you know? But anyway, this guy, um, I eventually showed him my writing. Um, and I feel like whenever you share art with someone, it's kind of like, I, I don't know if intimate's the right word, but it's like, you know, it, it, for I feel like for any artist, showing off your writing is like a big deal in a way. You know what I mean? So I sent him, um, the book that I had written, um, and I asked him for his thoughts on it. Um, and I guess, like, in some ways, it's like, I don't know what I expected, but he, I, I guess I was looking for constructive criticism, right? I knew I wasn't the best writer ever, um, but I, I did think I was pretty good at I had won lots of awards, I ran, um, I won, like, this, like, publisher's contest and got one of my stories published at one point when I was, like, eight or nine. Um, was his name Steven? No, his name was Alex, actually. Um, and I, I felt, like, okay about it, you know? There were some things, like, world building has never been my strong suit, but I always felt really good about the characters that I created, right? And he read the first two chapters of it, and I... <laughs> One of the habits I've always had is I always sell myself short and set myself up for shit like this. But I was like, yeah, I know it's not perfect. You know, there's some things that can be improved with it. And he deadass looks me in the eyes and goes, yeah, it's kind of fucking awful. And that shit, bro, that shit broke me. <laughs> Honest to God, broke me. I remember, like, crying and sobbing. Because this was something I had put, like, a ton of time and effort into, right? I wanted it to be... It was something I took a lot of pride in, and it took a lot of guts for me to share it with someone, this guy that I cared about, you know? And David eventually, when me, him and I started dating, um, David eventually read it, and he's like, yeah, your world building's a little weak, but this is a good story, and I really like the characters, you know? But he gave constructive criticism, whereas this guy was just like, this is shit. And... I guess, like, I was just so infatuated with this guy. After that, I just stopped writing entirely. Like, I just stopped, you know? Because I just, I think part of it was, like, I felt embarrassed. But part of me was, like, it was a story I felt really good about. And he just kind of, like, kicked me in the face or something like that, you know? 
And I've always wanted to get back into writing and stuff like that, but my ADHD has gotten a lot worse as I've gotten older. And granted, I'm on medication now, which helps, but still not, it's still not where I used to be, where I was able to write like 10,000 words a day, no problem, you know? Um, something I'm trying to do is like read books again, you know? Um, I used to be like those kids that like read like 30 books every summer, and now it's like I've been on the same book for like over a year now, because I just, I, I can't focus, you know? But um, something that um, I wanted to share with you guys, because I'm really proud of it, is um, me and David were talking. And David um, is a DM. He does a lot of DMing for, like, Pathfinder games, right? Um, he started with Dungeons & Dragons. Pathfinder is similar to Dungeons & Dragons, but not exactly. Um, but he does a lot of writing. And I told him I wanted to get back into writing, because I really do love the characters I create. And in a lot of ways, streaming is a creative outlet for me, you know? Even though I don't always follow the characters that I have, like, obviously, I'm not, like, consistently role-playing. I, I like making them, and I like going through stories with you guys. Streaming's definitely a creative outlet for me, you know? But, um, but I want to tell you guys, um, me and David, like, worked together, and he showed me this software called Obsidian, um, which helped me um, kind of organize my thoughts a little bit more. Um, but I started writing again, and it's just, like, I don't know, I'm really excited about it, and I'm really happy about it. Um... Because there's something that, like, I've always wanted to do and I've always wanted to get back into, but I never had the time because, like, I'm always working and stuff like that. Um, but I started writing again. And um, the world that I'm working on, actually, is a combination of the VTuber lore I've been tinkering with and, um, and my old stories. I'm bringing back my old stories and my old characters. And a lot of the characters that um, I've played on Skyrim Sunday have been characters from that old book. Like, Vanya from the Pathfinder campaign I play in is from that book. Severin is from that book. You know, um, so I've decided that since those worlds have kind of intertwined, um, I'm not like full on self inserting myself. I'm not making myself like a main character in the story, but um, I'm kind of like a background character, I guess. So it's like, yeah, it's Mary Sueish, but that's okay, right? It's okay to write things for fun. But my goal, honestly, um, and we'll continue this after I talk to her, um, after I finish this point, is my goal is I low key uh, want to release like um, a tabletop RPG setting as my VTuber lore. <laughs> but if you guys would be interested in reading some of my short stories about my OCs, um, like Rasha and stuff like that, let me know. Um, Cause I'm really happy that I'm writing again and I'm really excited about it. Um, but yeah. All right. Oh, more like, thank you so much for the three months gamer. I really appreciate that. Uh, we were just talking about, um, well, we're rizzing Lydia, um, but we also um, are talking about how I started writing again after not being able to for like years and years because my ADHD is really bad. But now we're going to see if we can riz Adrian, can I you know? You? But yeah, I think he was ultimately like super insecure. Um, and it's really funny because, oh, that's okay, Orlink. Um, he actually met David because um, him and I were still friends even though he like rejected me. Um, and he kept, like, whenever we would hang out, he always tried to one-up David, but in really weird ways. <laughs> so there was this one time, I'll tell the story, then we'll continue, I promise. There was this one time where we were all sitting in a Skype call, because this was before Discord, right? We were on Skype, and it was me, David, and this guy, right? And we were already hanging out, okay? Um, and David comes in, and he knew that, like, I was, I was seeing David. And, like, it was one of those things where he didn't want to date me. But he didn't want me with another person. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and he decided to flex on David. But his weird flex on David was... <laughs> I can't even... Hey, David. Are you listening? Do you remember how um, how Alex flexed on you in Skype? I do, actually. Would you like to share? Okay, I think I'm thinking about the right thing. Here, come here, come here, come here. Because for context, for those that are new, David and I have been dating for nine years now. <laughs> but tell, tell, the, tell the bit, tell okay. the bit. Short background, I was in, like, a, a programming, uh, like, Career program. thing yeah. through my high school. Mm. And that was essentially all this guy knew about me at the time. We had, like, never <laughs> And spoke. that you played League of Legends. And that I played League We had, like, never spoken before this. And he, I show up and he's like, you know, I built a, cal a redstone calculator in <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like... Yeah. And he's like, that's pretty much, like, programming. I'm like... He, like, walked you through how it worked, too, as if you, like, couldn't comprehend a redstone in Minecraft. And I was like, cool, I guess. Oh, my God. It was... Con congratulations. <laughs> 
like, I didn't want to be mean because you're like, this guy is my friend. But internally, I'm like, what's this fucking tool on about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was... It was an experience, but welcome big gamers. But yeah, some guy um, tried to flex on David by knowing how redstone works in Minecraft. And to be fair, to give him the benefit of the doubt, I don't fucking know how redstone works in Minecraft. But like, <laughs> you know, I thank you for the alert, Cable, if I appreciate it. But yeah, that was, it was, it was weird. All right, let's continue with Skyrim. But yeah, that's how, um, why I stopped writing and now I'm starting to write again. And I'm very excited about it. Okay. I used to be an adventurer in my day. Then I settled down, got married. You have massive tits too, Jesus. Uh, I have this letter from Adrian in Whiterun. She asks for corundum ore, my lady. Oh, good. I've been waiting for. But yes, the big hat lore will be will be very cool. All right, cool. Um. Oh fuck, sorry. I just warp. I don't know why I'm like warping. I don't get it. Thank you, my lady miner. Uh, Adrian will appreciate this. Sure. Is that your companion? Uh, She's yes. A beautiful woman indeed. Mmm. Uh, yes. We have a plat. Can you imagine you show up with someone and it's like, hey, is that your friend? Yes, we have a very platonic relationship. <laughs> uh, sounds pretty to, uh, similar to an Alex I knew. He was a terribly petty Minecraft advent. Also, the guy was awful at PvP. You know, the, it would not surprise me if this was like a small world situation and we're talking about the same guy. Like, it, it, if he mained Azir in League of Legends, we are talking about the same guy. <laughs> Uh, we have a platonic relationship. She worries about Sin and Mara. Yuck! That's too bad. I guess your friend Adrian is having relationship problems of her own. Her husband's dick don't work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mara has forsaken her. <laughs> Can you imagine? Love, yeah, my husband needs Viagra to get it up. God has abandoned you! <laughs> I love Skyrim so much. So there's two divine goddesses of love. Debella and Mara. Ah, uh, yes. It's complicated. Yeah, that's what women always tell me. <laughs> Enlighten me. Mara and Debella demand compassion from us. Mara is the patron of marriage. Okay. Her blessings are many. Love, home, and child. Okay. But when love roils and swells, the goddess Debella shines bright upon you. I don't know if I ever want someone she to refer to being horny as us. roiling and swelling. I don't know if I Debella like that. Can help the more seasoned love find The more way. seasoned love? Hmm. This love is seasoned with paprika. Um, well, I should get to Adrian with this. Bye. Be safe, traveler. Thanks. Uh, unexpected. Oh, we can riz her too. Okay, we're gonna riz everybody, okay? Uh, unexpected to find a lovely ranger hewing rocks for a living. I suppose we're all a little crazy to be here, right? Okay. Um, you seem an adventurous soul. Mining may not suit you. It's true that my There is swelling and roiling. I mean, what would I know? I'm a VTuber. I want to leave this place. <gasps> but he won't listen. <gasps> a stubborn mule of a husband. <gasps> uh, maybe it's time for you to strike off on your own. I'm not quite ready. If you give him Viagra, he's husband. not taking nitrates for chest pain. Oh, no! I love my husband, but he can be a bit... Dull at times. I'm very interesting. I'll put it in your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, perhaps we will find an opportunity to scout together someday. That sounds fair. Now I've got the itch to travel again. Yeah. Be careful out there. All right. So you were an adventurer, though. That's right. I used to explore all over. I'm the one who fucking Lydia giving me the side eye. Like the way she so walked well. right past me is like, you're really doing this again? Old time's sake. Spite a brigand heading back to his camp. Mmm. For a little hunt. That is just chlamydia. My husband is being a sad stick, so I can't kill myself. Um, is that her husband? Wait, is that her husband? <laughs> she really just said that. Okay, uh, I'll do it. This brings back memories. Come back when you're done, and maybe I'll be up to showing you a few tricks. Fuck yeah! All right. <laughs> Wait, really? Is that is that her husband? Are cowards. Don't stray. Annika used to help more with the mining, but nowadays she's a bit of a bounty. Oh my god, that's her husband. She just said all of that. Okay, we're gonna take a quick ad break just to disable pre rolls because Twitch gets mad at me if I don't run ads every hour. It'll literally be for like two minutes, um, and then we'll come back and we'll see what Lydia has to say about this. So we will be right back. 
and then I have to press the button. Boop. And then I mute my mic. Boop. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? No one died. No one got hurt. I left you alone for one minute and nothing's on fire. See, it's okay. It's fine. We're back. All right. Let's see. Um, I had no ad. Yeah, it's weird. Because, like, Twitch has a button that's, like, run an ad. And, like, I would like to choose when Sweetheart, to run my ads. My because my thing is, like, if I can run an ad and there's no content happening, right? Like, if I run an ad when I'm taking a break. Because something's happening when I'm taking a break anyway. That way you guys don't miss anything. And then I don't hurt my leg. See, now it just says ad break in progress. What the fuck? Hi, Arthur. Welcome. <laughs> but, like, that's the thing is I want to run ads when there's nothing happening because I don't want you guys to miss stuff, which is, like, so dumb that it, like, does it like that. That's so fucking stupid. So I'm just going to sit here for 10 seconds until Twitch says my ad break is over. And then we will, we will continue. Five, four, three, two, one. Is the ad break over? Is it over? It says my community is back, but Twitch has lied to me before. Are we back? Are we back for real now? Nothing's happened. I haven't talked to Lydia yet. I promise. Okay, are we, are we good? Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> are we good? Okay, we're good. We're good. Now that her husband's asleep. <laughs> uh, Lydia is just eating all their food. Okay. Wait, Lydia. I'm right behind you. Um... What do you, we need to return to Adrian now so that she can make your armor. Do you have a moment, Thane? Yes, I, I do actually. My Thane, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships for each other. Uh, are you about to chastise me again? I'm not angry with you. Finally, that's a, that's a first. Look, perhaps we could come to some kind of agreement? What are you trying to say? You are the Dragonborn. Correct. And I am your house, Carl. It's correct. To serve you. Also correct. This is the best thing I've ever been a part of. Yippee! Hi, Morgan! Welcome. Uh, I've had no ads so far. Yeah, if I could just get my ads out of the way when I want to so you guys don't miss stuff. Like, that's the thing. Is like, I like streaming on Twitch, and I don't see myself making... And I like streaming on YouTube, too. And I don't see myself making YouTube my primary platform anytime soon just because YouTube doesn't let me use stuff like, like tits or, like, redeems or... And the clipping is really hard with YouTube, right? But with Twitch... The ads. <laughs> it's literally the ads. If Twitch was like YouTube and there were way less ads or no ads, it wouldn't even be a question, right? But YouTube has no ads and... <laughs> you know. But yeah. I'm glad you're happy, House Cower. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. I have a degree in singing and am a vocal music teacher. But if I was talking to a woman about sex and she just started singing to me, I think I'd shit my pants. Uh, yeah, now you're being cringe on Maine. Sometimes I feel temptation. I also feel temptation to be cringe. <laughs> I've let it go on for far too long. Uh, temptation for me? Yes, Maine. <laughs> um, House Carl. You don't need me. Remember the warmth of Mara and all that? To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. What? Uh, you want to be Mara's hands? Well... I can certainly try. Ah, uh, look, I'm a bit conflicted. Oh, god damn it. This is another 
This is another incel line. You're beautiful, but a bit of an innocent. Every time a man has called me innocent, quote unquote, it gives me the ick. I like for my other ladies in the chat. I don't know if it's the same for you, but whenever like like just call me cute, okay? But whenever guys are like, oh my god, you're so innocent. You're so innocent. You're such a sweet summer child who doesn't know anything. Fuck off. Just tell me I'm adorable. All right. Don't make it weird. You know. All right. Oh. Oh. Skyrim is a hard land filled with cruel choices to make. I might be sinful. Yeah. Like don't call me a virgin. <laughs> Like, I get, like, here's the thing is, I'm too much of a gamer. Like, if he's trying, if a guy's trying to riz me up and it is like, it's like, oh my god, you're such a cute, innocent virgin, I'm gonna be offended. I'm not gonna be riz, I'm gonna be like, who are you calling a fucking virgin, idiot? Like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so, for the fellas in the chat, EB's Guide to Getting Bitches, um, don't call women virgins or innocent. That's all I got so far. We'll, we'll circle back to that at a later date. But that's all I got for you right now. Just don't do that. Um... Skyrim is a hard, yeah, okay. Then I suppose we sin together. <laughs> the way the dialogue got up, the way we sin. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lydia kissed her thane with an awkward but earnest passion. Her heart told her this was not sin. Okay, okay, cool, won't do that. Congratulations, you will now get seven billion women, okay? You're welcome, all for free. Is this gonna be a sex scene, or are we just gonna kiss? It says we're kissing, but we're just staring. Things are gonna be normal when I tab out of this dialogue, right? We're just kissing? It says we're just kissing. I'm, I'm gonna just, let me, um, let me just, just preemptively? Preemptively. Preemptively. We're just kissing, right, Skyrim? Kisses and hugs you do the RP. We're just kissing, right? We're just kiss. It's still a black screen. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah! <laughs> wait! Okay, I think it's fine, but I need to show you this. Holy shit, hold on. Like, okay. Like, <laughs> you look at this, and you're like, oh, that's cute. But the way the camera zoomed in at first. Wait, let me see if I can get to do it again. It was like. Oh my god, it showed me. <laughs> Same as the sex scenes. Is it? How do I? I? I would like to leave. Yeah, we've had like anal on stream before, but vor is a new, is a new um, <laughs> new heights for us, I guess. Um, yeah, the throat. Yeah, she did it again. Not the throat clearing. Um. Oh god, not the kissing noises. I, I don't. Oh god, now I'm changing my outfit. How do I? How do I? David! What? David, how do I leave the sex? Uh, the period on the numpad. Okay. <laughs> that was... That, why did she take... Anything I can help you with, why did we take our swords out after that? Even in Skyrim, Evie still can't romance correctly. Shut up! The elf from Baldur's Gate 3 calls me beautiful. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> if a star thinks I'm pretty, then I'm pretty, okay? Okay. Uh, hi. I'm right behind you. What'd you think about all that? Are, are you sure you want this? Like, 100% sure. Enthusiastic. A consent must be enthusiastic. I'm sorry, but he said that to me, too. No, I'm special, okay? I'm... <laughs> I'm his little... Whatever the fuck, okay? Asarian thinks everyone's pretty, though, because everyone is beautiful. Love yourselves. You're all very fun, cute, and sexy, okay? But 
Ashtarian loves me the most. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. That's just how it be. Oh, he's supposed to be mouth to mouth. Listen, they didn't teach me that in school, okay? <laughs> um, are you sure you want this, though? But hi, Zanelia. So much. Are you sure? As you wish. Enough. Oh, God damn it. They're gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck. No, 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 no. This is a Christian stream. Whoops. Can't show that on a Christian Minecraft server. Go where? Somewhere beautiful. Someplace private. Okay. Cherish the time we have for now. I'll gladly share my pleasure with you. Okay. Where are we going? Escort Lydia somewhere beautiful and private for lovemaking. I know quite the place, Lydia. Have you heard of a Dave and Buster's? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to just keep my face like this because I know what's about to ensue. Uh, but anyway, hi. How are you? You come here often? <laughs> um, wait, is the sex tree still here? Last time we fucked Lydia, it was in front of a tree. Wait, is this oh no, is that a dragon? Oh, there's a dragon. Lydia, come quick! We must have sex before the dragon gets here! We must have sex before the dragon gets here! Interesting form of censorship. Hey, a wise man once said, it just works, okay? All right, Lydia, Lydia, we need to go somewhere beautiful and private for lovemaking. We need to go to David Buster's! And then we can go to Applebee's afterwards. Is this is this good? Go by the sex tree. The sex tree. Ignore the dragon. He's this ain't about him. Okay. Right but you. welcome to the stream. Okay. Um. Do you like it here? There's a guard in the background. By the way, I don't know. If you <laughs> it's just perfect. Okay. Please, let's make love. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's dialogue. Okay, let me read it to you. <laughs> Lydia timidly stripped the protective steel from her body and watched her thanes shyly through the hair covering her eyes. Her striking beauty and form was unknown to her, and so it was with some surprise that she learned. Learned what? Oh no. Wait, we're both girls. Is this still gonna work? Oh wait, I can hold her apparently? How do I hold her? Oh, that took my hat off. Um, they're just staring at each other. I mean, no, I should, this is Twitch, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> We're just gonna skip it. <laughs> okay, did you like, did I, did you like the sex? Was it cool? <laughs> Was it good? Did I do a good job? Do I get a sticker? <laughs> did, I, did I get a sticker? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, degenerate? Much better, thanks to your efforts. Yeah, I I fucked you real hard and good. Now take my ass to Red Lobster. Yes, my thing. I want to go to Red Lobster. Have you heard that Beyonce song? There's a Beyonce song where she's like, if he fuck me good, I take his ass to Red Lobster, and I want to go to Red Lobster. Um, are you okay? <laughs> that was amazing. Yippee! Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> this is why I could never do girlfriend experience. If someone tried to do like if I or, or like ASMR, like I could never do like a sexy audio role play because like like so uh what did you think? Oh that was great, babe. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't do it, bro. I couldn't do it. Um since when did you care? Is there a nip slip? I'm, I'm examining her nipples for, um, educational purposes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you seem to be enjoying yourself. Prepare more for of my, my dragonborn gifts. What does being a dragonborn have to do with having sex good? Like, am I gonna shout into her pussy? What would happen? What are the physical impl I need someone- Is anyone here good at biology? Or, like, physics? Preferably both. What would happen? Hypothetic. I need, like, a video about this. I need someone smart to make a video essay about this. What would happen if I foos wrote, like, if you were, like, guard you with my life. yeah, I'm talking. What would happen if you were, like, eating a girl out, and then you shouted into her pussy? Would that, like, would that, like, rip her apart? Or would she just be, like, yeeted back? Like, I feel like the shout would, like, go yes, through, like, her right. organs or some shit. Like, it would travel. You know, sound travels. Sound travels faster than light. So, like, what would happen? What would happen? I want to know. I want to know. Okay? I want to know. She'd die? Well, yeah, but like before that, 
before that like how would she die like would she be like split in two like a rotisserie chicken or would it just be like Yay! you know like i need to i need to know you know for sold in the universe's largest queef <laughs> damn that's crazy i want the yeet theory okay anyway that was amazing yippee yes i can feel it your warmth inside me. Oh boy. <laughs> I cannot deny it. You're a lover like none other. That rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really understand what you did, but I trust you did it for both of us. Mm hmm. So. No, we don't. <laughs> Rick actually killed the high hate. I can't. <laughs> Bro, the rim job of death. <laughs> Her organs were rippled, causing internal bleeding, and then the force would propel her backwards. Her last conscious moments would be spent in an awkward position. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. Here at EB Games, there's no good time to enter my stream. Ever. <laughs> um, we could have just fucked when we met, you know. <laughs> Shouted him upon. Look in your eye. Oh, yeah. God damn it. I appreciate your patience. Yeah, um, why this change of a part about fucking? At first, when we met one another... That's also EB's guide to Riz. Tell a woman you'll take her to Dave and Buster's, Please, she will open her legs coerced. immediately. I know what I want. That might just be a me thing, but it worked on me, so, you know. Uh, what do you want, Lydia? It's just the Jarl promised a place where I would be accepted and taken care of. Uh, you are my house, Carl, and I will always look after you. Thank you. Honor to you, my fane. And also with you. I don't know what she's saying, so, like, there's something funny to me about just saying and also with you. As if we're at, like, fucking church communion. Uh, but what about Mara and the sin? I hope someday to be a parent. What? And I'll thank Lady Mara with all my heart. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Until then, I'm content running around wait. with the dragonborn. She didn't say she wanted to have kids. Can be in Skyrim. Oh, no. If I never have Did a I child, pull out? I'll have that much. Oh, I no. Think. I don't want to be a. I no. I no. Wait. Whoa. No. 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 Yes, Why is the guy? Deep, deep girl boss. <laughs> Rizzy Clitty, thank you for the follow. <laughs> You're now a gaslight gatekeep girl boss. That is god tier name. But um. I, why is this the only option? Where's the option for I will foos roda that fetus if like. No, I don't want to make her. I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to be a dad. I do want to. Can I just. I will protect you. Bye. With your life. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. I would need to go to the Skyrim CVS and get the Skyrim Plan B. <laughs> Bye. We're going to go save the world. Um. Oh, God damn it. Where's the option to run to Morrowind and set paying child support? Yeah, why can't I just, like... Hold on. Hold on. I need to do something real quick. I, I'm gonna... Just for the bit. It's 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 for the bit. I've got your back. Right, here. That was Let me amazing. Yeah. Skip, 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 skip. I hope someday to be a parent. And I'll thank Lady Morrow with all my heart for a child. Until then, I'm content running around with the dragonborn. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, even if I never have a child. I'll have that much, my Thane. Fuck them kids! <laughs> Wait, did I not? Wait, so the guards were cool with me doing that? <laughs> Wait, I thought I quick saved because I thought the guards were gonna get mad at me. Okay, the guards are are kind of real for that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Anyway, back to sure. Amazing. I don't want to be a dad. I don't want. There's two pregnant women in all of Skyrim. Well, if we work really hard, we can get that number to zero. So that was fucked up. I shouldn't have said that. promised a Listen, get that girl with the list in here. Y'all know on TikTok that girl with the list. <laughs> like, at first it was a little strange, but now I'm a happy woman. That's how I felt when I tried um. Never mind, actually. No, what's next? Sin. Ready for more? <laughs> I certainly am. Sin. God damn it. Uh, Lydia, do 
you ever feel amorous, I sure can't wait to see what this dialogue option is. Of course. Is that it? Just, of course. Okay. I did not think carry my I'm burdens meant carry my, my fucking children. I have no strong love for the storm. Kids. Also, who's gonna tell I Lydia that I'm a girl? Like, Lydia did not go. Lydia, I. Lydia, I don't know how to tell you this. I, Lydia. Lydia, I, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but I cannot give you children. I. Does she know? I, I don't. I don't think she knows. Also, my hair is clipping through my tits. Fantastic. Sex ed in Skyrim is worse than rural Texas. Listen, I didn't know what fallopian tubes were until like a year ago. Trust me, I understand. Um, Lydia was unfaithful. I, you know what? I'm sure. Actually, wait a second. I have this potion. Hold up. We do have the essence of the dragon, which is a schlongs of Skyrim increased size magic effect. So, um, it's not a non-zero chance, I guess. Well, um, now what? Um, we need to talk to Anarchy again, because I want to fuck her, too. I guess we're just fucking everyone, because that just seems to be the fun thing for me to do today. Like, what did you do last Skyrim Sunday, Evie? Oh, I got bitches. Multitudes. Um, wake up! I need the quest, quest giver! Tree that grows right up through a cave to the north of here. Yeah, I fucked the lady there. Uh, oh, wait. There's no option for sparring. All what right. the fuck? Then solve that problem. Okay. Um, wait, what did it say? The, the quest was? Perhaps to prove my fighting prowess to her. I have to slay a bandit. Okay, I'm sure that'll come up eventually. Alright. We'll continue for now. But, um... That sure was an experience, huh? Okay. Um, roll a d20 to see if I got Lydia pregnant. Where are my dice? I don't know where my fucking dice are, bro. Let me see. I don't know where my fucking dice tray is. Hey, David. What? Do you have a D20? Yeah. Can I borrow it real quick? It's important. It is important. I severely doubt that. It's very important. I don't. Okay, think chat. Odds? I got her pregnant. Evens? It Fuck them kids. Wandering around, is it did? I, I'm also using the fancy malachite dice for this one. Okay. What did I say? Odds I got her pregnant, evens I didn't? Yeah. Okay. I think it was actually the other way around, but that's okay. Odds, she's not pregnant. Wait, no. Wait, fuck. <laughs> I, <laughs> odds, I got her pregnant. Evens, we're Gucci. I rolled a three. David, please take the dice back. You gotta stop fucking getting everyone pregnant. I, ah, it was an accident. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to get everyone pregnant. I just fell into their pussy. I tripped. All right, well, let's go back to White Run. <laughs> oh God, this is <sighs> man. How do I get myself? I feel like this could be like like <laughs> that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> All right, let's go get a room at the end. There's still that dead body there, and that other dead body. The fucking <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, are we voting now? Is that- So this is- uh, The community decides if I get women pregnant? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. That's not- oh, I'm not ready to be a dad, okay? I'm- I'm not a good dad in general to, like, my hedgehog and my cat, okay? Much, much less to, like, an actual man, person. Not it's not- Okay, I'm the hedgehog stepdad. Not even. Sh shut up, David. I paid child I support. Well enough, shut up, David. <laughs> okay. thinking of selling the into Isolda. All right, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Yippee! I'll show you to your room. Right no, I way. got it. I got it. I've been here before. I get the the the, the honeymoon that suite. Really Is that like? Oh wait, I never noticed this. Times. Wait, you can see the stars through the like the wait. That's kind of cool. If it's I never you're looking huh? for. Hulda the one. Where the fuck to. did you come from? If you need more food or drink, speak to Hulda. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? She's pretty. Well, Sadie is very pretty in this mod pack. Okay. Now, well, night night time. Fucking Nini time. Eight hours of sleep because I'm a good noodle who uh, gets all her sleep. I would never fuck up my sleep schedule. That'd be crazy. Um, More questions. 
I am wondering, with this mod pack, am, can I actually get her pregnant? Oh, fuck, I haven't prayed! Oh, no! Malakath, I'm sorry! Malakath, I'm sorry! Oh, no! Oh, bless up! Okay, he's not super mad at me. We're almost at, like, 60. I'd love to see you and David playing the Skyrim Romance mod. Me and David may do some more streams together in the future, but that's not a bad idea. That could be... That could be very... The thing is, is David's gonna read the dialogue in the Skyrim romance mod and think that's how I actually talk to women. Like, he's not gonna believe me when I say I don't do that. He's gonna be like, nope, that adds up. Adds up. I wanna see where this poll's at. Where's this fucking poll at? I absolutely would frame you as an incel because it's funny to me. I'm not an incel. Why? God damn it. Everyone voted yes. <laughs> God damn it. I think the Falmer are the strangest place to find the smaller wiener potion. Can you imagine a farmer like the farmer like the voice is like I cast potion of small dick upon you <laughs> like <coughs> fuck that hurt <laughs> you are an orc if any female could get you know what don't underestimate the orc girl cock it's very powerful what's and um what's the word for like potent pee pee like viral vi virality like isn't that uh, there's like a word this viral Virginia yeah that one got some good pieces out here yeah buy all inside. right anyway AJ we have returned with your ore ah good I've been waiting for this one moment while I armor your house Carl oh fuck yeah okay the ancient farm will have the forbidden skedaddle skedoodle your dick is now a noodle spell all right where is Lydia all right give her the give her the shit there's something I want you to have. Ah. I need as much help as I can get. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. Balgroof. But something tells me I should give it to you. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness. She's just like me for real, for real. Whenever I get a gift, I just Protect shit my pants. And your thane. I hope someday we can repay you. Balder the Gator, <laughs> the third. <laughs> oh! Okay, girl. You know what? I am devoted. How do you like your new you armor, queen? Oh, I can't ask her about it. I wanted to ask her if she Is liked it. It's very, it? it's very cool looking. But um, I like seeing her face, so eh, we'll deal with that later. All right, we gotta talk to Adrian though. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white. Women. Thank you for Marlin outfitting my house, Carl Adrian. You are very, very Thanks. generous. Of course, then. And don't Imperials have something that always makes it limp? What? In the lore? I have not heard of that. But if anyone finds the source for Imperial limp dick, please let me know. Um, it's true. Our relationship has grown warmer. Your strength and honor are apparent to all. Damn right. Good that she will heed the call of her fame. Uh, but we had first discussed warming our relationship. Do you still want to bang? Won't lie. I am. And you? Uh, I would give what care and affection I could. As you wish, it would be pleasant to spend some time together. And if Lydia wished to show her appreciation as well, <gasps> it's three sometime! Yippee! Of course, she has such. Yippee! Beauty. Hopefully, <laughs> Eldest Girl Six discusses these pressing issues. <laughs> one, one can only hope. You know, Elder Scrolls Five left us with with so many unanswered questions. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. I'll be here, my dear. You know where to find me. Okay. Uh, all right. Hey, Lydia. Do you, I know you literally What's just had doing? sex. <laughs> do you want to have a threesome? Don't don't do this. <laughs> don't do, do this in real life. Can be of service. Just just as a as a, a Evie life advice. Though after you have this is again Evie's rich tips. If you get to fuck a girl that you're dating, okay, the next step after that is to not immediately propose a threesome. In fact, I would offer, that is not one step forward. That is two steps back, actually, in my professional opinion. Lydia's gonna get double pregnant now! Um, Lydia? I hope you're looking at me like that because you want some apple cabbage stew. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, Lydia. Don't worry, my love. I understand. Oh, my God. Oh? Yes. Yeah? Sin. But... Without wickedness. Sin without wickedness. I I think that's an oxymoron. But I don't know if you know what those are. You've brought warmth 
My heart. <laughs> so much to stream. I got you, bro. I got you. Are, suffering. are you still planning to be Mara's hands? Just put your Mara's hands all over the place, touch everything? Well, yes. <laughs> Great discussion to have his children run by. Yeah, uh, she's... She's not all there, and that's okay. Adrian would enjoy your touch. I'll look forward to it then. Oh shit, is it happening now? Take a good look around. Oh, no, 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 um, if you think this is, hi, if you think this is a bug, open the console, select them and type set ghost zero. Okay, well, where's, yeah, Lydia, here, you're not a ghost, set ghost zero. Blade okay. and shadow. Um, Shadow's how do I do sex? The quest went away, it just says meet the topless dancer and the drunken, no. No, 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 that's, no, no, no. Hi, Gamia, welcome, but I think, no, 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 it's not her, it's not her. No, my arch nemesis, my arch nemesis, no, 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 it can't be, it can't be, no, 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 no. These are my arts. No! For a modest fee, God! I'll make great art for you. It's her, it's happening again. No! <laughs> No, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. No. Not Summer Sky. Who would ever want to hurt a woman sensitive breast? No. <laughs> no. Dragonborn. No. My sister. She's in trouble. But why did they take her? What could they want with my sister? What, what kind of trouble is she in? It's all in this note. I hope, well, maybe you can help her. Uh, oh, God damn it! It's it it crane my neck! Okay, that was... <sighs> I cannot escape her. I cannot escape Misty Sky and her stupid whore sister! What's in the fucking... Do we... I'm gonna take this... I don't want Misty Sky back in my life. I thought I got rid of this whore when I started a new playthrough. Oh, bye, May. Thank you so much for hanging out. She's like herpes. She disappears, but she never leaves. Do we... Do we do it? Do we... Do we, do we invite the devil back into our home? Let me make this poll real quick. One minute. You get one minute. Cast your fucking vote. Are we doing this again? Every time you go on a, with Misty on an adventure, you are the side character. You know what? I, I believe that. Why, why is there a helmet on the ground? Is What's... there something I can do for you? Are you a hooker? Yes. Yeah, you're a hooker. God damn it. I... Until next time. I really did take psychic damage from that. Are we... Why can't I have you? Why can't I have you? Blade why... and shadow. Silence. Why... Uh... Oh, god damn it. All right, we're getting out of that crack den. And we're going, we're looking at the rest of our quest until the fucking thing is done. Okay, so we still gotta talk to Melbourne. Um, it won't, I need to kill a bandit, I guess. But it doesn't show me where that is. Um, yeah, I think we'll go back to the main, I thought I was gonna have a threesome. But then it just spawned me in the drunken huntsman. God damn it. God damn it. It's Misty Sky time. Okay. All right. These sex mods raise so many ethical questions. Yeah, you got to talk to the blacksmith lady for the threesome, I think. Oh, okay. Let's try that first and then we'll read the leather. There you are. 
do you ever feel amorous? Of course. How are you? I'm here for you. Whenever the need arises. How can I serve you? Uh, which one is the threesome option? I need your touch. Do it. Give it to me. Oh my god! Wait, no, that was very forward. Okay, hold on. I excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, you get we're getting very up close and personal this stream. We're we're learning lots about each other this stream. I, I, uh, okay. Um, I think the dialogue. Uh, wait, Lydia calls her dumb. Wait, is Lydia here too? Oh, fucking Lydia is just. Do you see that? Like we're having sex and Lydia's just. Right now, I'll give you like a play-by-play. -play. is just looking at her boobs. And she also got naked, but she's just looking at her boobs. And Lydia's just making a sword, which like, good to her. Um, good for her. Wait, I have a dick! Oh, I have a strap on! Oh, that's cool. That's very neat, okay. I, didn't, I was like, what is that? Oh, damn. Wait, why is it like, ribbed? It's got like, dots on it. It's like textured. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna skip past that. What happened to Twink Boy? Let me um here, hold on. Let me uh let me do this real quick. Um so and I have to allow that message. For some reason, Twink Yeah, Twink Boy is absolutely a permitted term in this chat. We ended the Twink Boy playthrough because frankly I just didn't know what I wanted to do with him and I just kinda was ready for a change, but I do love Twink Boy. I love Severn very much. And if I do That's release my now. short stories, he will be part of them. He's one of the OCs I've had for a really long time. So let's put that back on. Uh, did you enjoy yourself? At your service. Apparently she's my friend. So even after all that, we're just friends. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'll be here, my dear. Okay. Please, um, soon. should we actually do the main quest now? Ugh, fine. Yeah. We'll read the Misty letter, okay? The guards don't care about fornication in the middle of the street, but if you steal a lavender plant, yeah. Uh, public sex is fine, but I draw the line at stealing someone's flowers. <laughs> Bye, Goldsmith! Thank you so much for hanging out! I appreciate you for being here. Thank you, gamer. Uh, let's read the fucking letter. Where is... Where is the letter? Alright. We're gonna... Let me... I, I need a... I need a drink before this. Hold up. <clears throat> Why is Twink Boy still being auto <laughs> The Twink Boy got attacked by bears quite a bit. Yeah, he, uh, he he was having a rough time, but we love him. We love him. Dear sister, I pray this letter reaches you quickly. I am in terrible danger. I'm imprisoned in solitude, naked and helpless, and they mean to torture my beautiful breasts. <sighs> okay. I was to dance at the Winking Skeever tonight, but first I thought I should visit the palace and pay my respects to dear Torg. He was always so kind to me, but apparently I've upset Lady Elisif somehow. On my way out, I was accosted by a guard. He said I was under arrest for offending the Jarl. The guard hauled me to Castle Dower, where a big scary man in a black cowl- Oh, shit. Uh, tore away my bodice, roughly groping my bare breasts, laughing that my big tits look right for a long, hard flogging. Fantastic! Okay. Um... Then he gave my nipples the most vicious pinch, nearly lifting me off my feet. It hurt so much, and he said that's only a taste, and he's going to twist my tits right off. They threw me in the cell with my aching boobs still totally exposed. Exposed. Please, you must send help. I pray to all the gods, please don't let these cruel men hurt my poor titties again. It is so court. Like, this is so unserious. I could never bear such torment. I lost my sword too. Today has been the worst. Love, and look how she even puts the little squigglies by her letter. Misty. Yeah, she really is just like boobing along breastily. Good, good for her. Okay, um, we're leaving. We're, 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 we're leaving. Get the fuck out of White Run. We're fucking leaving. We're, we're done. We're done here. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Let's grab, um, what, what is next on the agenda? What, what was the next thing we were gonna do? Uh, we do need to travel to Solstheim. We're not gonna do that quite yet. Um, what's the closest thing? I do want to find the Dragonborn on Snowdrift Island, but again, is it too late to have David the Lee White run? It's never too late. He's always down. Lots of things to do in solitude, it seems. And, um, let me see. What's this? Speak to the warrior, meet Shrine of Sendar. Okay. I think 
Has Misty Sky found you yet? I, I have bad news for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, chat has voted. We are we are accepting our Lord and Savior, Misty Sky, back into our lives. Um, I do think I am going to end the stream here, actually. I think we're. I think this was a good um, intro to get us back into Skyrim Sunday. <laughs> um, and I, I want to... Somehow, we accomplished so much and so little all at the same time. Um, my throat is starting to hurt, but if you want to continue the fun in the games, um, we are going to have a community event right as soon as the stream ends in the Discord server. We're going to be doing a watch party of um, Half-Life VR, but the AI is self-aware. It's one of my favorite, favorite web series, so if you want to hang out with me and watch that together with me, we're going to be doing that. I'm going to be starting the event almost as soon as the stream ends, um, but my throat hurts, so I need to stop screaming. The stream had me like, that's the thing. Is the funnier a stream is, the shorter it is because I lose my voice. <laughs> and I need to... I also hosted the recital last night, which was a lot. So my voice is kind of... I need to give myself some vocal rest for a little bit. Um, so I'm probably going to make some tea before we have our watch party. But I think next week, we have a good amount of things to do. I think we're going to be heading... Uh, west and exploring a lot there. So I think that'll be fun. But gamers, thank you so much for hanging out with uh, me. Yes, very funny sex stream. Uh, I apologize it was so short, but I will hopefully see you all in the Discord. Um, but yeah, so you can see all the links that Jingle just posted there. Thank you, Jingle, for posting all my links. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Master Jan, thank you so much for the raid. Oh no! <laughs> fun unfortunately we're gonna send the raid train forward because i was just about to end stream uh just because my throat's starting to hurt um but we're all gonna raid together it's a big raid party but thank you so much i know I, there's a thing on twitch to make it so you don't like do that but i forgot <laughs> i forgot but i'm glad you had fun um for those who are new in town my name is eb games i usually play skyrim and um today we had sex with like three different people it was great oh no that's okay you didn't know but um we are gonna be ending the stream because my throat hurts uh because i screamed a lot <laughs> so let's see who we can raid we'll send the raid train going and we'll make our raid message our raid message really is going to depend on who we raid um can we raid we'll raid eros she's playing spooky's jump scare mansion and we'll make the raid man uh message eb sex raid real not clickbait <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be our raid message okay so let me set that up um but that will be that'll be our raid but thank you all so much for hanging out gamers i'm really glad you guys enjoyed it i had a ton of fun um and <laughs> i will hopefully see you um i'll see you next week or wait no i'll see you on wednesday i don't know where we're playing wednesday yet i still have to make my schedule um it'll depend we might go back to dark souls we might play some more chocolatier um i'm gonna upload the vod of the chocolatier stream because i didn't think it would be that funny it was gonna be an archive but for some reason a chocolate game from 2009 that was like the most fun i had had on stream in a really long time this was also a really fun stream today too i've, I've been enjoying streaming a lot i love streaming i miss not being able to stream as much with you guys because i've been so swamped with work and then Friday, we will be back with Baldur's Gate on YouTube, and then we'll be Skyrim Sunday again. Yippee! Oh, and then Friday, um, my new cover is gonna be premiering on YouTube, and it's gonna be my first cover on my new YouTube channel. So that'll be right before the YouTube stream. But yeah, okay. Uh, EB Sex Raid, real, not clickbait. I'll 